Hi all, here I am taking a class about chemical preservatives. What are preservatives? This defined as any chemical compound or process when applied to food to retard alterations caused by the growth of microorganisms or enable the physical properties, chemical composition and nutritive value to remain unaffected by microbial growth. According to FSSA rules, preservatives are classified into two class 1 and class 2 preservatives in class first preservatives includes common salt sugar dextrose glucose spices vinegar or acetic acid honey edible and vegetable oil etc which are non toxic to our human body and health addition of class first preservative in any food is not restricted unless otherwise providing the rule addition of class first preservatives in any food is not restricted Class first preservatives includes common salt, sugar, dextrose, glucose, spices, vinegar or acetic acid, honey, edible oil, etc. In class second preservatives includes mainly chemical compounds such as benzoic acid including their salts, sulfurous acid and their salts, nitrates and nitrates of sodium or potassium, sorbic acid including its sodium, potassium, calcium salts, niacin, propionic acid including their salts, methyl or propyl parahydroxybenzoate, sodium diacetate, sodium potassium and calcium salts of lactic acid. Uh, use of this class second preservative is restricted. They shall be added to any specified product at any concentration not exceeding the proportion specified for the product. First of all about benzoic acid and its salt. Widely used as an antimicrobial agent. Benzoid is more effective against yeast, yeast and bacteria than moles. It is mostly used against yeast and bacteria. Antimicrobial activity is achieved by inhibition of enzymatic system of microbial cells affecting acetic acid metabolism, citric acid cycle and oxidative phosphorylation. It inhibits the enzymatic system of microbial cells such as affecting the acetic acid metabolism, citric acid cycle and oxidative phosphorylation. Next, antimicrobial activity is mainly affected in the pH medium that range between 2.5 to 4. The maximum inhibition occurs in the pH medium 2.5 to 4 and it decreases when pH rises above 4.5. It is very effective in low pH products and in the case of food products such as it is mainly used in benzoid sorry it uh, usually used in the as a preservative in fruit juices drinks salads jams jellies pickles dried fruits and preserves ketchup sauce syrup carbonated beverages bakery items salad dressings margarine and other fat spreads and spice it is especially used in fruit and vegetable based products and bakery items also then second is sulfur dioxide and sulfates Sulfur dioxide oldest, is the, one of the oldest antimicrobial agent. It is colorless, non-flammable, gaseous compound or liquid under pressure with a suffocating pungent odor. Sulfate salts such as sodium sulfate, sodium bisulfate, potassium sulfate, potassium bisulfate, sodium metabisulfate, sodium metabi po so potassium metabisulfate used as a preservatives. The effectiveness of sulfurous acid is enhanced at low pH values. Antimicrobial activity against yeast, mold and bacteria is selective and the bacteria are generally more sensitive to inhibition than yeast and molds. In addition to antimicrobial action, they are also used to prevent enzymatic and non-enzymatic changes as well as discoloration in some foods. Sulfur dioxide and sulfates are mainly used in fruit products such as fruit juice, concentrates, squashes, pickles and chutneys. It is mainly used in um, low acid foods and especially in fruit juice concentrates, squashes, pickles and chutneys. Then sorbic acid and its salts. Sorbic acid and its salts such as calcium, potassium or sodium salts are effective antimicrobial agent against yeast and molds. They are less effective against bacteria. Sorbate has an upper pH limit for activity around 6 to 6.5. 
the food products preserved with the sorbets and carbonated beverages, salad dressings, tomato products, jam, jelly, syrup, candy and chocolate syrup, cheese, sausages, smoked fish, fruit juices, grains, breads and cakes. Sorbic acid are especially used in uh, carbonated beverages, so high pH products means high acidic products that is 6 to 6.5 pH limit and it is very less effective against bacteria it is mainly used in uh, carbonated beverages salad dressings tomato products jam jelly syrup candy chocolate syrup cheese sausage etc then for this propionic acid and salts propionic acid or salts such as calcium or sodium salts are used most effectively in the prevention of mold growth and rope the mainly ropinase is occurs in bakery items and mold and uh, raw penis is all, uh, always occurs in bakery products it is used against baked goods for mold inhibition in many cheese foods and spreads they are more effective against molds compared to yeast and bacteria it is very effective against molds than yeast and bacteria propionates has an upper ph li limit for activity around 5 to 6 it is works on ph 5 to 6 then lactic acid and its salts Lactic acid is formed during fermentation of lactose by lactic acid bacteria. Lactic acid and its salts are very common and not easily available in the market. Can be used in pickles with acetic acid, fermented dove syrup, crisp, dove crispy biscuits, some beverages, dairy products and meat products. Acidic foods below a pH 4.6 are considered shelf stable and safe. Calcium lactate is used as a firming agent in pickles, fruits and vegetables. It is used also used as a firming agent. Sodium and potassium lactate are also recommended with sodium diacetate for control of food poisoning and other bacteria in meat products. It is mainly used in meat products and also in uh, dairy based products. Then niacin. Niacin is a polycyclic antibacterial peptide produced by the bacterium Lactococcus lactis. Lactococcus lactis is produced by niacin that is used as a food preserve. Lactococcus lactis is produced by niacin and it is used as a food, food preserve. It is a natural food preservative. It is obtained from the culturing of Lactococcus lactis. Lactococcus lactis on natural substrates such as milk or dextrose and it is not chemically synthesized. Niacin is used in the processed cheese, meats, beverages etc. during the production to extend shelf life by suppressing gram positive spoilage and pathogenic bacteria. Niacin helps to suppress gram positive spoilage and pathogenic bacteria. In foods, it is common to use niacin at levels ranging from approximately 1 to 25 ppm. Niacin is at the levels ranging from 1 to 25 ppm depending on the food type and regulate, regulate, regular, regulatory approval. Depending upon the food type and regulatory approval. As a food additive, niacin has an E number of E234. E234, it is very easy to... Um, Remember that E number is E234, E234 for niacin. Then nitrates and nitrites. The salts of nitrate and nitrate are commonly used for curing of meat and other perishable produce. They are added to food to preserve it and also helps to hinder the growth of harmful microorganisms, especially Clostridium botulinum cause botulism poisoning. Nitrites together with the nitrates are also added to meat to keep it red and give flavor while nitrates are used to prevent certain cheeses from bloating during fermentation. Nitrate is found naturally in vegetables with the highest concentrations occurring in leafy vegetables like spinach and lettuce. It can also enter the food chain as an environmental contaminant in water due to the use of intensive farming methods, livestock production and seaweed discharge. Then acetic acid. Acetic acid has an antimicrobial properties. The action tends to be static rather than suicidal. In suicidal, the action tends to be static rather than suicidal properties of microorganisms. It is more effective against bacteria, yeast than molds. 
a 5 to 10 percentage acetic acid solution is also known as vinegar vinegar is the 5 to 10 percentage acetic acid solution is known as vinegar acetic acid in the form of vinegar is used in mayonnaise pickle sauce pickled sausage etc acetic acid in the form of vinegar is used in mayonnaise pickle sauce pickled sausage etc then sodium chloride or common salt antimicrobial action by lowering water activity the sodium common salt uh, uh, yeah, helps in antimicrobial property by lowering the water activity the at a higher concentration it has pronounced bacteriostatic effect or static state of or uh, stop the growth of bacteria the 10 percentage sodium chloride inhibit the growth of most bacteria the 10 percentage sodium chloride inhibits the growth of most bacteria Delaying action upon microorganisms creates the hydration of microbial cells by osmosis. Mainly sodium chloride and done this process by osmosis. Osmosis and altering results in plasmolysis of the cell and cell become burst. Reduction in solubility of oxygen in water decreases oxygen level in the food. Reduce growth of aerobic microorganisms. It is more effective against bacteria and mold compared to yeast. Mainly used as a preserve preservative in pickles, meats and fish. Fish is usually salted by immersing in brine or by mixing with the dry salt. Highly important as a preservative for cheese and table butter. Depending upon the type of cheese salt, content varied from 1 to 5 percentage in the table's butter salt, it is added in maximum concentration of 3 percentage. Then sugar or sucrose, more effective against bacteria mold compared to yeast. It also it is similar to that of salt as lowering water activity of the food product and reduce the available water content in food to extend with the renders condition unfavorable for the microbial growth. This creates dehydration of microbial cells by osmosis results into plasmolysis of the cells. The food products preserved with the sugar are fruit products such as jam, jellies, kosher, etc. Dairy products sweetened condensed are sweetened condensed milk, seeds, etc. Thank you for watching this slide. Stay healthy and safe.